All right, this is going to be the fun part. We're going to get into the editing experience. I'm going to show you where things are located, how to use them, anything that's different or has been moved. And let's just jump on into it and we'll edit one as we go here so you can see in real time how to use the editor. So I think uh, one fun one to do, which is a new template as well, is the digital business card. So let's open that up. And so you'll see this is only a one pager, so there's only one page in in this section and we'll go into editing. So the first thing you'll see that's very different is that we actually have a what you see is what you get editor. There's no side by side edit here and see it over in the image. You now edit right in to the image itself. And so any image any element inside your page you can select by double tapping and that will open up this shelf where you can start to edit. Here you can change the color, the font, if you want a different font than your universal setting, which I'll show you where that is. Sizing, you also can do some new formatting like bold, so within there. Another thing that you can do is select this. This will also edit it. This makes it so that it's very easy on mobile from any device. And you can also edit it from here. You can copy, which isn't duplicate, so I'll show you that. And you can delete it just like that. Now everything also here is drag and drop. So you just drag it here. If I want this above this, this above that. Okay, very, very easy to use. Now, um, some other places that are a little different. So if we want a different background image, you go to these dots here on the corner and you'll go edit background image. So we'll just do that. This will come up. This is also where your universal font setting is. And so any if you want the entire page to be uniformed one font, you can do it from here. You just click right off that shelf there to remove it. Now, if we wanted to change this area of the body, we can go to edit body. And here you can change your default setting to other widths with padding, without padding. And that's where you can do that along with changing the color setting. Now, if you want to add an element, let's say we want to add a video, you click a plus. If you see a plus, that's what is going to pull this up. And so now you can select specific parts of the page that you want to add. So if you want to add a Vimeo, you would just drag it over here and it would go right into that section. And then you just select here and delete it if we want to get rid of it. So it's pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, another thing that you can do also is let's say we want to add a navigation that's also in this section as well and we'll go ahead and do that in this editing so I'll go through this and let's just build this page and see how long it takes us so let's start with the background let's add a background edit background add a background let's say I want to be a surfer dude and let's find an image I know I got something in here there's one Let's add that, we click insert, okay? And from here, we can also change the transparency of that image. So let's do it at that. Click right off. Now let's change the transparency on this because it needs to pop with the text. And I like using the black and you can see, let's go a little darker on that, not too dark. Cool, all right, let's go with the name. And let's change to the white. Again, you could change the fonts here. You can change uh, if it's where it's indexed to the left, to the right, or the center. All right, let's change the photo. I don't have a photo of me, but if we want a circle photo, we'll just grab one. So we go in here and we will change the image. I got some guy in here. There he is. So this one's already cropped to the circle, but if you do a perfectly square image and choose our shape circle, it will do this as well. And so from this area, you can also change the alignment. You can change the sizing here. Okay. And once that looks good to you, if you want to add a link as well, if that looks good to you, just click right off, change it. So let's change this font real easy here. All right, now let's change the button color. Let's go um, blue 
and let's go white. That's pretty good. And this is where you would add your link. So we can do that for each of them. I'll show you how fast you can actually go through this and just do this. And I don't think we'll use all of these elements. All right, let's just do one more. Follow me on Facebook. And then you'll see how quick it is. We can just delete these. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, looking pretty good. All right, let's add a navigation, give myself a nice little logo. So let's go navigation. All right, so the background of that navigation, let's also make it dark, but let's lighten that transparency up so it matches. All right, so we can add the link from here. We can also, this is where we would say like, if I wanted an about me, that's where that would be, but we don't want that for that. All right, so um, we got our logo in there. And if we wanted to change it, just go on over here, click out of the gallery. All right, again, we can change the size of the logo right here and the alignment. Since this is a, a digital business card, it looks better, I think, in my opinion, centered. And let's just click off of there. And we got it, that's done. So we'll click save. All right, editor has been done on this page, and so we can view it. Awesome. And as we know, like most of these look great on mobile. And let's see, go back to the editor, and let me go through everything when it comes to the, to the page itself. So this is where we would update in our settings update the URL if we wanted to. This is where if you're posting it on social media, you would change that meta and description tag and image here. And all the normal settings that you would find in phone sites is going to be in this section as well. From here, we can see the stats on the page. From here, we can also add in our follow-up. So we go create follow-up, choose email. We can change the delay timing by days, hours, minutes, add our message in here. If you had the AI, you don't even have to really write the message. And if we wanna add another one, we just do it. Super, super simple, okay? So we just click save and we can go back. And that's it, that's our editor. It will update here, the thumbnail. There is one thing actually before I go, I wanna show you and that is if you are on mobile, because it's drag and drop, there is a chance that you could grab one of these elements as you're trying to scroll down the page. And it's very easy once you get used to it, how to fix that. So you just, when you're scrolling with your thumb, either the right or the left, depending on what hand you're using, grab at the side of the screen as you scroll down. And then when you wanna select an element, you just double tap it, and you can edit right there. It's going to be the same editing experience that you see on the desktop here. It, the only difference would be instead of this coming out the side, you will have a shelf that would come from the bottom. But um, that's pretty much everything that you need to know as far as how to use the editor, where the elements are, and really looking forward to your feedback and what you guys build with this awesome new tool. Thanks.